Many people think that Glamrock Chica is simply a mindless killing machine. This completely changes what we thought about Chica and leaves us with many questions such as why is she crying? Why does she only do that when seemingly no one's around? And does this mean the other hidden secrets in the other animatronics? Well, the real answer may completely shock you, so get ready and hit that subscribe button right now. Where are you? Who wants candy? Now, Glamrock Chica is the Glamrock counterpart of Chica who appears in Five Nights at Freddy's Security Breach and its DLC expansion Ruin. As we know, she's the guitarist who later gets shattered by Gregory and her voice box removed by Glamrock Freddy. Now, there are basically the two versions of her, the normal version, as we can see here, and the shattered version. Now, at first, many people believed she only was crying when she was the shattered version, which would make sense because she's had her shell shattered, her beak removed, etc. But this isn't the case. She actually cries when she's shattered and non shattered. This completely removes the theory that the only reason she was crying is because of her deformities, missing her beak, etc., and unable to eat pizza. Well, we know that isn't the case, because she also cries when she isn't shattered, which makes the mystery even more confusing. Now, personally, I never even really noticed that she'd cried throughout the entire game. I've played it numerous times, gone looking for lore, and I completely missed this. So I'd like to thank my good friend Logan, who brought this to my attention in the first place. Because as we dive deeper and deeper, things just get even more darker. Now, we do know that Glamrock Chica is shown to be quite deceptive, because she gives Gregory false promises of seeing his parents, offering him candy, trying to comfort him, him to seem friendly in an attempt to make him give out his location and she could then capture him. Your family is looking for you. Let me take you to your parents. But these lines, however, seem to be pre-recorded for the purpose of ensuring child safety during Pizza Plex's opening hours. We also know that she has a super strong obsession with pizza. We see her eating out of bins, which is just disgusting. And this is shared throughout her reincarnations as well. Now, this is interesting because when caught in her aggressive state, sure, we know she cries, which we'll come on to later, but she also appears to be a very caring bandmate. I mean, at the beginning, where we see Glamrock Freddy fall over and collapse in the cutscene, she seems to run straight to his side. She also keeps a bowling ball from Bonnie's bowl in her green room, possibly as a memento after his death, showing that like Glamrock Freddy, she's remorseful of his death and genuinely misses him, telling us that her personality is one of a caring nature. She's not like Monty or Roxy. You don't hear her going around chatting shit about Gregory or anything like that. It's just not in her character. And a few other interesting things is the fact that she's way more twitchy than any of the other animatronics and she walks like some type of zombie. I mean, the other animatronics almost have lifelike movements and speech, but Chica, she retains the robotic movements, the robotic speech. Something is missing here, hence why we're here her crying. But what, what are we missing? We also know that she never responds to any of the security lockdowns during the entire game. Now, one could say that the moaning slash crying we hear is basically paying homage to what she does in your office in FNAF 1. <laughs> where you hear that moaning sound. Sure, that would be a great little Easter egg, but I don't think that is the case here. She's more crying, she's more upset. It's not done to just try and creep you out or be a creepy Easter egg. There's definitely more than meets the eye here. And further to this, if you compare her facial and head movements to the way she is in the cutscene, you'll notice that they're nearly identical to the way Freddy was on the stage, obviously just before he short circuits and crashes. They're near enough identical. And do we see Roxy or Monty having these twitches? No, we don't. They're more animalistic, they're crazy more lifelike in their general appearance and the way they move. They're not twitchy in any way. So why does Chica do this and not any other animatronic? All these answers will present themselves as we continue to deep dive. Because as we know, she's constantly trying to lure Gregory out of hiding. She's trying to guilt trip him all the time, saying, oh, your friends will be looking for you, your parents will be looking for you. She says lines like, let me take you to your parents, who wants candy, and I'm just merely trying to help. You're safe with me. So could the crying then be her way of guilt tripping Gregory into coming out of hiding? I don't think that is the case at all because she's still twitching while she's crying. And the crying almost seems genuine, not like she was trying to guilt trip Gregory. She's doing it when no one else is around and it's extremely rare. Now you could say that Roxy also is seen crying. Now I think that's a totally different circumstance in itself because Roxy's obviously crying because she's disfigured. She's no longer the best, so to speak. And she's just genuinely
genuinely upset in her own appearance. Nothing to do with Gregory or anything else. Chica, on the other hand, this is far more deeper, far more darker than we could ever expect. Now, one possible theory is the fact that there are souls of children inside these animatronics, and it is the souls of the children which are now corrupting the animatronic, in this case, Chica, and making her cry. Now, I don't believe that to be the case because I don't think there's a soul inside of Chica, although there's definitely the argument with Mike being inside Freddy, etc., crying child inside of Gregory, and I've covered that in other videos, so I recommend checking them out after this one. What actually happened to Glamrock Freddy? But no, that's not the reason. There's no evidence to suggest that there's a soul inside of Glamrock Chica to make that crying. We know the animatronics are sentient themselves. They're robots. There's no souls inside of these ones. So why is she crying? We know she's more twitchy than the other animatronics. We've also established she's one of the friendliest out of the animatronics apart from Freddy. Everything's pointing to the fact that she's extremely friendly. And could it actually be that it's part of her own self then, trying to fight being controlled, trying to fight that corruption from Vanny or Glitch Trap and the overrides? That would make complete sense with the twitching. She's fighting the control. She's trying to twitch and move out of it. Hence why she's so robotic. She's not lifelike because she's not fully controlled. And then when she finally stops, no one's around, she starts to break down and cry. And do you know why she's crying? Because she's hunting the very thing she's sworn to protect, sworn to look after. Children. Her job is to look after children, not capture them or hurt them in any way. She's being forced to do things which she can't control. Her actions are not her own, but inside her mind, she's still there. She's forced to witness all these things. All the evidence, the twitching, the way she moves, her personality clearly suggests it's to do because she's fighting this glitch trap, this vanny control. But the main question you might be asking then is, is there actually any evidence for this? Well, believe it or not, there could be. You know how she's always trying to call Gregory out of hiding? Well, have you ever thought, how does she actually know Gregory's name? Gregory has never even spoken to Chica, not even once. We know Freddy obviously knows his name, that's obvious. Could she have overheard it in person? I... I'm Gregory. Gregory. That's impossible. Her green room where she would be in the vicinity to hear Gregory actually say his name to Freddy in person was just simply too far away. Her green room is the furthest away from Freddy's. So what about from the Faz Watch then? Well, she's not connected to the Faz Watch. We know this. But it is possible she could have heard it indirectly. Highly unlikely though. Who's the other person who knows Gregory's name? That's right, Vanessa. Or in this case, Vanny. And we know this because when Vanessa speaks to Freddy when he's captured in parts and service, she says, why does the Faz Watch keep shouting? You know how I know that? His fast watch kept repeating in your voice. Gregory, are you there? Gregory? Clearly indicating she knows his name. Vanessa slash Vanny then tries to use this to her advantage, tells Chica Gregory's name, and then Chica starts using it. And the other animatronics, they never mention Gregory by name. They just say kid or little guy, which could genuinely mean they don't know his name. Vanny only told Chica it. Or they're not being fully directly controlled like Chica is. Because we see Roxy in Ruin obviously save Cassie. Cassie! Get out of here! showing she's just not a full hunting machine. Monty, on the other hand, he's clearly still sentient because he killed Bonnie of his own accord and probably is working with Vanny to get the lead role in the band, which he so desperately wants, which I could see Vanny easily promising Monty that role if he helps her gather Remnant. But Chica clearly hacked and she's fighting the hacking as well, hence why she's crying. This then is further expanded upon even more in her trash eating. Sure, we know Chica likes pizza. That's been a thing throughout her reincarnation but it's also tied in perfectly with stress eating. She's literally eating junk food, a stress coping mechanism. She's confused trash for food, literally junk food. All of this leads to a tragic character, a tragic backstory, and even worse, the tragedy that she's never really mentioned at all in the entire story. We have Freddy with his father-like figure to Gregory, Roxy with her own redemption as we see in Ruin, Monty with his own backstory trying to kill Bonnie and whether he did or didn't. Sun and Moon, beloved characters, but Chica? Nothing. Completely forgotten about in the entire story, really. And out of them all, she deserved her fate the least. And what makes this even more horrifying is the fact that she literally, in her own self, has to sit and watch as her hacked body carries out these orders and tasks. Which leads me to my next question. We said earlier about souls being in the animatronics, but what happened to the kids' bodies which were in the original animatronics in FNAF? If you want to know the answer to that, check out this video 
on my channel, right? Well, we know there was an investigation due to the newspaper clippings occasionally seen replacing the rules of safety signs in FNAF 1. And make sure to like this video if you enjoyed it and subscribe for plenty more videos like this on the channel. I'm Twisted from Twisted Animatronic and stay safe out there, superstars.